So despite the fact that we had a clear, strong leader, the team was actually, or every member of the team was able to speak. Team B, who was observing Team B? Yes, okay, about six people. Was there a clear leader in Team B? Team B was the ones here. No. It didn't seem that there was, no. Right side, there. This was Team B, yeah. this was Team A. <laughs> In my opinion, yes. Uh, I felt a very strong body language from the blonde girl, which I only could observe from behind. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that energy seems to flow between the blonde girl in the front and the smaller girl in the back. So sometimes it was not quite sure who of these girls was the leader, but mostly I think it was her. Agree. Yes. Do Team B, does anybody from Team B feel that they weren't listened to? <laughs> you were in Team B and you, they didn't listen to you? Yeah, there's one point actually. Yeah, because I think this is interesting. That because it's said on our cards that we should write down our, our ideas. But then the first girl started saying her idea. And then I said, but it says we should write them down. And she said, no, no, we can just, this is faster. We can just say it out loud. Very interesting. I'll come to the green cards in a minute, but very interesting observation. Because the instruction for Team B was not just to find the quotes, but they also, I gave them also an instruction of how to. And they didn't do. <laughs> <laughs> which is OK, which happens. Um, from the fact you noticed, so some of the observers noticed that it was a clear leadership, not so strong maybe as in Team A, but there was leadership in Team B. Do, did, from your observations, did it influence the decision making? Yes or not? Definitely. In which way? I couldn't listen. But um, again, the okay. energy mostly flowed through in between the two girls. And uh, yes, the energy from the two guys was there as well, but uh, I, I would agree to you. That there was a phase where I also had the feeling they couldn't listen to you, mm -hmm. and you immediately shut it down your presence for a while, and later came back. <laughs> that changed a lot. And then suddenly some humor appeared there, and then the leader interacted again, and then you developed something on a certain day. And then finally, you made a kind of a solution somewhere in that team, and then you found your point. In interesting, because indeed teams do not always, let's say, the chemistry within a team doesn't stay the same from the beginning until the end. So this thing can evolve. It can evolve in a negative or in a positive way, it can escalate. But it's interesting to see that here, there was definitely an axis of female power. And the guys, I don't know, Uli, maybe you went out last night, but I think Danny is wide awake. So he doesn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> I know him, I can see him. <laughs> And you felt acknowledged? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> team C was right up in the middle here. Who was observing Team C? Now I'll ask the same questions again. Did you observe a clear leader in Team C? Actually, there was kind of a leader there. Or in the first part, it was very subtle. He was trying to repeat some of the phrases that other members came up with. He encouraged to write some but in the middle of the exercise, everybody has seen that they have so much fun, and they speak equally that he back down a little bit. That sounds like a perfect thing. We'll come to that. I had another observation because I saw in her uh, that the, I think that she also tried to make a more, let's say, for instance, when you started writing down the, the stuff, she was the one who picked the, the pen and the paper. and. 
she started actually writing the stuff to actually make her an opportunity to <laughs> steer a bit more. 